Amen. Thank you so much, choir. God bless you, amen. Turn your Bibles. Before you turn your Bibles, we are in the midst of, uh, our, not in the midst, we are concluding uh, our study of the dreamer, Joseph the dreamer. Uh, we are in, in kind of not coming to the end, but we're coming to the doxology. If you're visiting today and you've not been able to be a part of this, I encourage you to, to hopefully we kind of whet your appetite uh, to really do some research on how God wants to work in your life through the life of Joseph. I've got a great book one of my um, Deacon gave me several years ago on Joseph. Uh, I think Josh McDowell wrote that book. And, uh, and it's an awesome book. And there's many other information out there that you can find that, that, that you could really learn a lot from Joseph. We're only really touching the, the highlights, really, of his life. But if you have your Bibles, turn to Genesis chapter 50. All right, Genesis chapter 50. Uh, 19 through 21, if you hold your uh, finger in that passage, all right, uh, and then turn over to uh, Genesis 45, you will recognize this is the last chapter, the conclusion of, uh, of Genesis, the whole entire book. And this is, the entire book of Genesis ended up uh, with Joseph's, Joseph's life, all right? Genesis chapter 45, we'll read that first, verses 1 through 7. Let's stand together as we read God's word, please. Jesus records for us, Then Joseph could no longer contain himself before all the attendants, and he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's household Heard him about heard about it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to, to, to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. And when they had done so, he said, I am your brother, Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And be not angry with yourselves for selling me there, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now, there had been a famine in the land, and for the next five years, there would not be, any, be plowing or reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives from a great, a great, by a great deliverance. Now turn over to chapter 50, verse 19. A very important verse. For each of us this morning. Verse 19 says, But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. I am in the place of God. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. To accomplish what is now being done. The saving of many lives. So then, don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he assured them, and get this church family, and he spoke kindly to them. Thank you. You may be seated. I forced to my knees Why did the sudden parch and dry me When I walk through the desert of defeat Then came the clouds and the rain fell I thought I'd never make it night and God gave me the answer when I prayed with you he let me see the dark to hold the light I can kneel with a brother who is bearing a burden and say I know just what you're going 
I can pray with the sister in the midst of her sorrow and say I know because I've been there too. I can put my arms around someone who is down and tell them to have faith and confidence. What in pain I could not see, I now fully believe God prepared me for such a time as this. praying for rescue you are facing temptation and trial struggles are endlessly present but the purpose is somewhere in God's time just keep on walking the good road the night leads to a stronger wiser day then you're asked the reason for the path that you have to run you know without a doubt that you can say i can brother who is bearing a burden and say I know just what you're going through. I can pray with the sister in the midst of her sorrow and say I know because I've been there too. I can put my arms around someone who is down and tell them to have faith and confidence what in pain i could not see i now fully believe god prepared me for such a time as this god prepared me for such a time I can deal with a brother who is bearing a burden Say I know just what you're going through I can pray with a sister in the midst of her sorrow Say I know because I've been there 